Hello everyone, I am Ghulam Abbas. I hope you guys are fine and doing great. In this video, I am going to tell you what is Keep macOS, how you can use it to download the macOS Pixar, how to create bootable USB with it. And finally, if you are trying to install macOS Pixar on a non-Apple product like HP, Lenovo or any other version, I am also going to tell you, I am also going to guide you a little bit how you can uh, create them. So without wasting time, let's begin. So Give me OS is a script built with Python. Uh, it is an open source. You can just download it from the Give me OS. Uh, sorry, just search Google and Google Give me OS and then download it from the uh, GitHub. So the very second thing is that Give me OS is a software. Uh, sorry, a script by which you can download the Make OS uh, directly from the Apple server. So in Windows, you can't use its full potential, but in Windows, you can use it to download the macOS Big Sur uh, or any other versions. I have already downloaded the macOS High Sierra and macOS Big Sur uh, in uh, Windows using the Git, uh, uh, Git macOS. Then I simply copied them here inside the, you can see here, uh, inside the virtual machine. Uh, then once you did that one uh, also do not forget that inside the windows you can only uh, run the git macOS dot uh, bad file not the other files let me see inside the windows you can only run the dot dot bad file from there you can download the you can just run it it requires python uh, and then you can just download the macOS pixel i'm going to show you how uh, you can download it inside the Mac, but it can also work inside the Windows because uh, I, I download is also right now there is a file built downloading inside the Mac, uh, sorry Windows. So inside the Mac, inside the Windows as I said you have to run this command. But inside the Mac OS you have to run this command. It is going to download a very simple uh, software, uh, I don't know, software or whatever it is. The size is 6 MB and it is going to list all the available macOS product uh, that you can download with Git macOS. Then uh, let's see. So you can have a look here, the software is, the app is downloading, download is 6.81 MB of 6.81. So you can have a look here, once it is downloaded, uh, sorry, that part is downloaded, you can have a look here that what uh, kind of apps are available here, you can see the Beko is Pixel 11.020, B50, and then Catalina 15.7, and uh, up to the end, uh, it is the macOS Mojave 10.14.5 and up here is the macOS Sierra 10.13.6 As I said before, I have already downloaded the macOS Catalina and uh, sorry, macOS Big Sur and the macOS High Sierra So if you are interested to downloading them, just uh, press the number Suppose I'm going to download uh, this one, macOS Mojave, I'm just going to type 14 You can see it is here once you did that one, just press enter. It is going to download all the necessary files uh, from the internet. It is going to take some time. So once they are downloaded, they will be here inside the macOS download directory. You can see public releases. Uh, I have already done as I said. Here is the Sierra, here is the Big Sur, and here is the Mojave which is currently downloading. So I am going to cancel this one uh, because I am going to show you that those users who are looking after the uh, recovery images uh, of the macOS, they can also download them from using the Git macOS. Okay, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, now you can see that it is download. Uh, I have cancelled everything down there, and now I'm going to press Enter to come back here to the main menu now in the main menu you can see here are the some guidance here but the very thing that i want to show you it is this one if you are only interested in the recovery images just press r and so you can have a look here that it is listed now yeah uh, give me guys it is uh, only the recovery stuff you can have a look here 10.15.17 full install uh, the recovery image is only 500 megabyte 
and then there's also the other stuff you can have a look down there by yourself so if you are interested in any of them just type the number and then press enter now the download process is going to, going to take some time depending on your internet connection you can see uh, i'm downloading here the macOS Catalina 10.15 and it is currently downloading uh, around the 500 mb on the 76 mb is downloaded because of my internet connection is kind of too slow so this is how you can basically download them from here okay now once they are downloaded there is a problem the problem is that they are not exactly the app the installer dot app so let me see what I do I mean by app is if I have to go to applications you can see that I have already added the install uh, macOS Big Sur and the high Siri here the truth is that when you are downloading with the give macOS they are downloaded in parts not in combined folder uh, so to make them combine uh, you have to basically combine them let me have to delete first the high Siri because okay that's legit from here uh, you have to basically use this command build macOS command uh, install app as I said before this full potential can only be used inside Win uh, Mac not inside the Windows so just run this command and once you run it it's asking for the directory uh, it's asking for the directory location to build the uh, macOS Pixel final version so to get that one you have to open the location where it is downloaded so just simply drag this one here and once it's down there just press enter now it is going to uh, do all the stuff here and once they are done installer will be created down there then you can create an, a bootable USB with it okay now you can have a look at that the installer is now created in the same folder if I have to open it you can see that it is now here uh, you can also check the size how much the size is get info you can see it is 5.23 megabyte GB so now the very next thing is that you have to copy this one into applications directory once it is there you can start creating bootable USB uh, for the macOS for a clean installation sorry you have to create a bootable USB with it so open the terminal sorry uh, the very first thing is that you have attached uh, attached the USB to your computer I have already attached this one I have also created bootable USB already on it because it took some time and the video was too long I had to cancel the previous video that's why it's the third time exactly I'm recording so you have to attach the USB then once you attach the USB just uh, hold windows plus space if you are on uh, on a windows uh, if you are on a mac command space then type that disk utility and then hold press enter now choose the usb the very first thing is that you have to come here and sh select show all devices it is only showing the volumes once you are there choose show all devices now once you are there choose the usb flash drive and choose erase now once you did that one provide a name and macOS external journal and master boot record once you did it and choose erase it's going to partition the usb uh, as macOS once you did that one now open the terminal and then let me I have to make it a little bit bigger so you can see what's going on so the very first thing is that you have to type sudo then open the applications directory right click on the uh, operating system which you are going to create a bootable USB I'm going to create the uh, uh, I'm going to show you the um, high Sierra so or doesn't matter I'm going to show you the macOS mixer choose show package content open the content directory choose the sources and then we can see here is create install media now just simply drag it here once you are there just dash dash v o l u m e volume sorry volumes mm, volume then drag the the location of the usb this is how once you did that one 
press enter and it's going to simply uh, format the USB whatever that is and then it's going to copy the file down there I've taken screenshots here I'm going to show you mm, let's see so you can have a look here this is a screenshot I have taken uh, so you can see here is the sudo then I have dragged the create install media head then I have type volume then the location of the make uh, sorry the USB then after that one I have simply typed the password and it is asking if you want to continue I just simply typed Y and then you can see it erased it copied and it made bootable USB of the macOS high C over here so this is how you can do it easily also there is uh, a post inside the Apple site uh, you can simply search in Google command to create bootable USB on Mac you can see how to create a bootable USB you have to open this post and once you are there you can see here is the Bixer, Catalina, Mojave, High Sierra, El Capitan just in the end you have you can see here is my volume it is the name of your USB simply type the name of your USB and it's going to create a bootable USB for you in no time once you are done then you can simply go ahead and install it on your computer if you are using a Mac but if you are not using a Mac, uh, I mean, if you don't have a suppose like MacBook Pro, iMac, or any other versions, there is a problem because directly like this, you can't boot. Uh, even if you if you boot and if you install again, you will be stuck with many other stuff. There is EFI, there is the Kixt, there is the uh, I think TSTT, and many other stuff so i'm going to guide you a little bit so if you are trying to install on lenovo or any other stuff just simply open the uh, you have to download the oc gen x uh, simply search it inside the github you can download there then you can choose uh, uh, any version of the lenovo which your pc has suppose uh, you your pc has a camlet then uh, go to the kickst you can choose lilu and then the framework drivers uh, and then there's some BIOS you can just simply type I make suppose depending on your computer just type it down there then uh, there are also many other stuff like uh, virtual SMC then the graphics the audio Ethernet depending on them once you choose them simply choose generate you can see it already exists for me I have already created before so once you did that one you have to open the open core uh, and then mount the efi of the mac os then simply from here you can mount the efi you can simply mount the efi of the usb flash drive for now I need to reattach this one because it, it has just created bootable UFC then you have to simply uh, copy the, 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 the EFI that you create this one you have to copy it down there then you can just go ahead and put uh, your computer however I don't think that it will be this much easy uh, it is too much complicated you can't even tell how much for that one I'll provide the link in the description uh, it is the open core site mm, then from here you can just go ahead and uh, read them one by one your hardware your version of computer uh, your processor what type of which version they are KB leg Kemet leg whatever there is you can just simply read this post and once you did it did it I hope you can install it inside your computer so I hope you like this video if you like it don't forget to hit the thumbs up button share the video with your colleagues and then I will meet you in the next video